And now it's time for the moment of truth, launch day in London. It's been years in the planning, but what will the world think of the new extreme hydrogen car and the championship? One thing is for sure, the extreme H car is arriving in style. We're here bright and early, 5.55 a.m. The St. Helena is gonna pass right behind me through Tower Bridge. It's a massive logistical challenge, more in the St. Helena up here, but it's gonna be brilliant and, and we can't wait. We're on board the St Helena in London for the first time that the ship has been back here since the championship launched, I think six years ago. So this is an incredible moment for us, launching Extreme H, and we're about to see the brand new car. No one's seen it yet, so I can't wait. I haven't driven it, I haven't seen it, and it's a really big moment, I think, for the whole championship because it's defining a completely new era of motorsport. An exciting time, a full house, and uh, certainly uh, a moment for the series to be proud of. I will be invited along for this launch in a fantastic venue here on the Thames. It's very exciting for the FIA to see hydrogen really coming to the fore. We've talked about it for a while, but it's really nice to see a championship you know, embracing the technology and, and launching here today. I think motorsport is a great laboratory. You know, benefit from track to road, as they talk about, you know, developing it in competition and then seeing the technology in road cars of the future. Well, hello, everyone. I want to welcome all of you to Santa Elena. Probably a question that, uh, that deserves an answer is why? Why we do this? Why we do this transition from extreme E to extreme H? Hydrogen can be the solution to store, to carry, and to transform the whole energy system. With this championship that we're launching, we could be having a butterfly effect for the future of huge proportions. That's why I think today it's a really, really important day. How are we going to do this? We're going to do this the way we like it. Racing with motorsport. So, I invite all of you to follow us in our new adventure, Extreme Age. Thank you. We just took the Cobra of Hair together with uh, Carlos Sainz, Katie Mernings and Alejandro. It's amazing to show the car and show its hair. I've been waiting for this all year. This is a special day because it's the first championship with hydrogen involved. I think it's a really huge task. It's a brave move, new championship, new car, new technology and really looking forward to next year. It's for sure a big development coming up. The center of gravity looks completely different, the car looks lower, uh, the driver sits inside the middle of the cockpit, which is like a Formula car basically, but inside the SUV. Well, I can't wait to, to race the car. What excites me the most about new technology is it means our industry is working. This is a test bed for OEMs, and the more relevant we are, the more that we develop here, the more that it's on the streets, and we all keep our jobs. Extreme H is partnering with Red Bull, which is really exciting. I've been a Red Bull athlete for a long time now, so to see those two worlds collide is exciting. I'm sure we're going to see some amazing things over the next few years, because neither does anything by half. For us, it's a huge announcement you know, to have uh, Red Bull with us, this mythical brand that has been really making a revolution in racing. I think it was going to help us make the championship a lot stronger. This is something that's so different, so unique. It's never been done before. It's probably not going to be done again. And I think that's what sets it apart from everyone else and, and makes it worth keeping an eye on. We're at a point now where energy has never been more crucial and we need to look at new ways. And motorsport's fun, it's entertaining, but it's also a, a proving ground for future tech. So if we can try out hydrogen tech on a racetrack and prove that it works there, expand that to the real world, then we're all going to benefit from it. Next now, after showing the car, is to test it in public. We will do that in Scotland in the coming, upcoming race. And from there, to manufacture all the other race cars, to put together the teams, to put together the calendar, and to launch the championship April 2025.